Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Tech video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can add your very own give point feature into your check-in system. So to get started with this, you need to make sure you already have a working leaderboard and you have a check-in system installed, configured and ready to go. So before I teach you on how you can script your own feature, I'm just going to give you a quick preview of how this system will work. So you can see we're player two, actually we're player one, and you can see we've got two points because I've tested this feature out beforehand. And let's just try checking in player two. Now I'll keep the leaderboard up since that's an important feature. And then let's attempt to check in player two. Let's click check in. And now you can see player two gets the notification. And if we click on the yes, We can see player one gets another point added onto their score. And let's just say, for example, we want to check ourselves in. So that will be player one. And we click check in. We'll still get the notification. However, if we click yes, we won't get any points. And this is just a safety feature. So it stops uh, users from checking themselves in and repeatedly gaining points making your system non-usable as people could simply just grind out for points so if we try to check out player two here you can see they get the notification and if they click yes we also get points for checking them out however once again if we try to check ourselves out you can see when we check out we can click on the yes however we won't get any points Great, so now I'm going to hop into a brand new Roblox Studio instance where I've already installed the check-in system and I have a working leaderboard ready to go and I'll give you a quick example on how this works. Okay, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio. You can see I already have a script handling the leaderboard and I have already installed the check-in system. We're going to need to script the part that gives the users the point. So this isn't actually complicated at all. It should only be a couple of lines of code. However, we will need to edit the main script that handles the check-in system. We're going to have to head to service script service, look for the main folder that will be called check-in. And now you're going to have to click on main manager server. Now you can see it's pretty complicated in this. So we're going to be closing some functions and you can see that little arrows next to the function and we're going to be closing it. So we can close the check-in. Make sure you don't delete the functions, otherwise it won't work. And we can remove the check-in out, the check-in confirm, and the check-out. And I'm just going to be closing functions so it's a lot easier to read the code. We're also going to close this assign key, this remove key. Then let's see if there are any more functions. Yep, we can hide player setup and we can hide load up. And now you can see all of our functions are minimized. They're still there, so we can still open them up and see what's inside. But this is going to make it so that when we write the code, it'll be a lot simpler. So as you can see, we already have a tag that says functions, and we're going to create one below here, and we're going to say dash dash, and then we're going to say award points. One thing I forgot to mention is all the source code that is used in this video today can be found in the description down below, and you can use the code from there. As you can see here, we have the award points comment and we're going to drop and we're going to create a brand new function. So we're going to say local function and now we're going to call this function award points as we're awarding points to a specific user. So we're going to say award and then points. Now we need to set a few parameters and that's going to be the username and then that's going to be P. So the username is the person who's checking someone in and P is the subject, the person you are trying to check in or you have already successfully checked in. Then we're going to drop a line and now we're going to say local player to award points. And so it's all well and good if we've got the username. However, we need to find the player object that we're trying to give the points to. So to do this, we can say game dot players and then find first child username so what we're doing right now is we're searching for the players directory until we find the first client with that specific username or the first child now we need to make sure that the user isn't trying to give points to themselves so once again this is an anti-abuse feature that stops people from abusing 
And to do this, we can say if player total points dot name is equal not equal to p dot name then player to award points dot leader stats it's going to be lowercase leader stats and now inside of your leaderboard you're going to have a specific variable with a specific name so we're just going to get that name by heading into the game so i'm going to click play now it might take me a second to boot into the game but as you can see once we load in we can take a look at our leaderboard and you can see Yep, so you can see we have points here, we can see it as a capital, so we want to give them one extra point each time they check somebody or check somebody out. So let's close out of here, and I'm going to remember it was dot points, yours might be dot coins, it might be dot money, and then what we need to say is dot points, since that's the name of the variable, and now we need to edit the value, so we're going to say dot value plus equals so we're adding and now if you want to award one point each time you can set this to one other if you want to add five points you can set this to five if you want to award 100 points you can set this to 100 but personally i want to award one point each time they complete a specific action now let's scroll down and you can see it's a bit complicated here it's a bit of messy code but we're just going to work with it so you need to find the line that says if check-in equals equals success then and after here we are only firing our function once the user has been successfully checked in. So we can then do award points author and then we're going to put a comma and then we're going to say player just like this. Then we can copy this entire line and then we can look for if check-in equals equals success then and then under here paste a line in and then after that we should be all ready to go so let's give this a quick test inside of our game of course we're going to have to use the test because if we try checking ourselves then we simply won't receive the points and then let's give it a quick go Okay, and here we are inside of Roblox Studio, and let me just quickly move to the check-in system. It's a bit of a walk away. Once we're here, we can click on the screen. Let's try checking ourselves in as just a test, so let me check. We are player 1 this time, and then let's just type in player 1. This plugin is taking up a lot of space. And then let's try checking ourselves in. Then let's agree. Okay, we don't get the points, that's good. Now let's try checking ourselves in again and make sure we don't get the points. Great, we still don't get points. Now the big deal is, can we check in player two and receive our points? So check in, player two accepts, and we get some points. Now let's make sure we can check out a player and we still receive points. Check out, they accept. And we get some points. So great. And that's it. So thank you for watching this tutorial today. If you have any questions or scripting inquiries, you can always head over to our forms at forms.thecookie.dev. And that's all from me. Thank you for tuning in and bye-bye.